Hey guys, my name is CDH Gaming, and today I'm back with another video. Today I'm back with a new series. This is going to be a Max Verstappen career mode. So, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Also, another thing before this video starts the reason I merged two races together is because they were very short. Well, it's boring, so I made them. I edited all the boring stuff out, which actually made them all really short. So, I just put them into one. Well, like, like one big video so anyway i still hope you guys do enjoy Good afternoon and we hope you're ready for an exciting qualifying session as the teams make their final preparations here in canada so coming around the last chicane of the canadian grand prix to go on to our flying lap we've got drs down to the line, we've got no traffic ahead of us, I don't think. Hopefully not. Hopefully it won't like mess up our lap either and hold it like held us power hold us back. And anyway, at the end of the first sector we twenty we set a twenty-two dead. Just scraping that Haas driver there, Gutierrez, I think it was. Second sector, it's a forty-five nine. So that's pretty good. Now down this long straight that we have to go to the end of the, the chicane. Here we go at the end. The hair, uh, chicane up to the line. DRS Kavir says a 115.7. We set a 115.3 on our first lap, but we don't think that's good enough. So we set another one and set a 114.3. We get a second off of our time, and that's provisional pole. Here's a look at your top three. Raikkonen, Verstappen and Nico Rosberg. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. So at the end of the qualifying, we get out-qualified by Kimi Raikkonen. So we're in second, our teammates in fifth. So let's go into the race. So we got one, two, three, four, five lights. Lights out and away we go for this very damp Canadian Grand Prix. We got a brilliant start over Raikkonen and we're already into P1 heading down to the first corner. And I think the Mercedes is going to follow us. The Mercedes is going around the outside of Kimi Raikkonen. I don't know if he's done it. He's done it. Rosberg has got past Kimi Raikkonen. And now for the next couple of laps, we're just setting in fastest laps. And now on lap 8, 10, we're coming into the pits. So hopefully it's a good one. We are the only car that are going on into us. Everyone else is staying out on the full wets. So hopefully we've made this, like, the best strategy here. We, that was a two point, that was a two second pit stop there. And we're going to come out in fifth, maybe fourth. Can we just get out in front of Vettel? I think we just got in front of Vettel, that's good. And now slipstreaming with Daniel Ricciardo. We're going up the inside, down to the chicane. The final chicane of the Canadian Grand Prix lap. And we've got him into the chicane. And now Sebastian Vettel is now out of the Grand Prix. There we go, we get confirmation. I think he got an engine blow up. Now up on lap 15, we're up the inside of Kimi Raikkonen. So we're into P2, the full 18 points. Can we push for this win? Now on lap 16, we got, we're going up the try and round the inside. We juke uh, Nico Rosberg to defend in the outside. Then we moved up to the inside. We're going up. This, is a f this has been a favorite position place for us to overtake. And now down to the line. We've got him. And we're on faster tyres, and we just push for the lap 17 to try and build the gap. But now on lap 18, we're coming up to the line to win the Canadian Grand Prix.
So yeah, as you saw there, we're 36 points ahead in the Drivers' Championship. And we're only 10 points behind Mercedes in the drive in the Constructors. So hopefully, going into Azerbaijan, we'll be leading even more in the Drivers' And even more, well, we'll be leading the constructors. Anyway, I've been TJ Gaming, and I'll see you in as. Welcome to qualifying in the Republic of Azerbaijan. The teams are making their last minute adjustments before the lights go green, and the fight for pole position can get underway. So, coming down to the line, down this really long straight, but 212 miles an hour going into the first corner, starting a lap. So hopefully, like, Hulkenberg, who is ahead of us, doesn't hold us up too much. Coming up to the end of the first set, so we've caught up Hulkenberg quite a lot. Coming down a short straight, how what time are we going to do? A 46-3, which is alright. But we're still catching Hulkenberg. And now, coming up to the end of the second sector, we've had a little bit of contact with Hulkenberg. And we're to compromise our line to get past him, but we set a 119-0 in the second sector but now coming down the long straight 211 miles an hour over the line we set a 143.9 for our flying lap which is quite a good time but we think that's not enough because we dropped out the second half we beat Hamilton we go a 143.1 we don't have Hulkenberg to hold us up then but here's a look at your top three Verstappen Hamilton and Felipe Massa. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. So yeah, that second time was better because we didn't have Hulkenberg holding us up. We was two temps faster than Hamilton. Our teammate qualified in ninth, which isn't the best. So let's go into the race. So we've got one light, we've got that second light, we've got three, four, five, five lights and away we go for the Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan Grand Prix. We're going to, we're at the first corner, we've had contact with the Mercedes, I think it's Lewis Hamilton. And yeah, it was, so that's just massive, made a massive pile up. I didn't see him when I'm recording this and the safety car has now been deployed for that accident. I didn't actually see him in my mirrors. I thought it was a bit further. Here's some cinematic shots going through the castle section. But yeah, I didn't see him. So I was just like, I, I didn't. I thought I'd got ahead of him, but unfortunately I didn't. And I just squeezed him a bit too much. I clipped his front. But now we've got up to the safety car, we even to keep some temperature in our tyres. So that they are going to be a, a prime, prime performance. But now coming down the start, finish straight. We've changed our strategy and we're going to pit and we're on lap two and we're going to go to the end on the next set of tyres. I'm not sure what tyres they are. I'm going to have to have a look. But hopefully it's a good pit stop from our team. We're going to go on the softs so, and these should last all the way to the end. Hopefully at least anyway. Two second pit stop. Not bad, not bad. Where are we going to come out? Looks like 13th. Is it going to be 14th? Nah, 13th. Nazar nearly got past us but but we managed to stay in front and now safety car has now come in we've moved up a position um someone coming into the pits i think it i don't know who but now we've got a yellow flag everyone's bunched up i'm in rich mix waiting for the green flag is it gonna come there we go we're now racing again slipstream rich mix on jensen button hopefully we can die we're gonna try and dive from him in the first corner i don't like saying that 
We're going to get Hulkenberg at the same time? No, we're not. But Hamilton's locked up. Nearly goes into the barrier. Nearly had Hulkenberg up his rear end. And now into turn two. We're going up the inside of Hulkenberg. Get the move done. He's still on our outside, though. But he's not going to come back. He st he's, uh, goes behind us. Now on lap five. Oh, we're, like, well, later in lap five, anyway. We're up to the fast section, the last sec uh, third sector, and Hamilton is next on our list. We're going to go up the inside, and we've done it. He's just randomly drove into the barrier, like an idiot. But next up is Perez. We're going to probably get him down on the start-finish straight, hopefully, at least. And, because we're just going to have, like, this game, Azerbaijan, you just slipstream, and Rich Mix, and you're literally there. Harry Anto's in seventh. He would get in a double slipstream because it comes through. I think Perez might be going into the pits, but Perez has got past Harry Anto. No, he's not. Some people are in the pits, too. My teammate. Harry Anto has managed to stay a some start how stay in front of us. But now we're up into fourth as we dive bomb. And we get, um, here's some more cinematic shots, but as we dive bomb Perez in turn one, we're up into fourth. Go for the castle. We clicked the barrier there. I didn't even realise when I editing or drive, like, uh, drive him. But on lap 7 we're now in first position we set fastest lap Gutierrez is now out of the race so this is what happened to him the Renault goes on the pit lane next on um, entry side on the left side of the track and Gutierrez wants to pit and AI is so stupid he just turns in to the Renault and then he just makes himself go out is that going to cause a safety guard but no but um I for, like the editing, no, the recording software messed up while doing this. We did actually win the race, as I'm showing you now. We're actually leading the championship by ten points, going into Austria. Uh, the constructors, at least, anyway. But yeah, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I've been CJ's Game. I hope you guys did enjoy the Azerbaijan and the Canadian Grand Prix. A lot of work has been put into these, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.